My approach to using technology in the classroom would be having the students as both producers and consumers of technology as often as possible while still being effective with my teaching practice. I think technology is very important to integrate into the classroom and it can be essentially integrated into every single subject area. Technology is a great way for students to be interactive with the activities and also to keep their attention during the lesson. Technology also allows the user the resources to explore things that they would otherwise not have access to, such as videos of specific animals that we're learning about, a website about a country on the other side of the world, or the opportunity to talk to someone from another country. I want students to be creators and producers with the technology as long as it does not interfere with the objective or effectiveness of the assignment. In my classroom, I would integrate the ISTE standards in order to form a classroom of empowered learners, digital citizens, knowledge constructors, innovative designers, computational thinkers, creative communicators, and global collaborators. In my classroom, I would imagine using a smart board to do whole group instruction with the class and utilizing videos and other forms of technology resources to distribute information to my students. I would also use technology to keep record of work, presentations, and other data in my classroom. I would give my students the explicit instruction that they need to use technology appropriately and effectively. In order to have my students be producers using technology, I would utilize the resources that we have, such as laptops, in order to let them conduct research, create presentations, and complete other assignments. Another way that I would use technology in my classroom is with the accommodation of students. There are many applications, such as Google Read and Write, that can be used to assist students with reading or writing and give students the opportunity to overcome their weaknesses. I think the resources that I would need in order to approach this in my classroom would be a smart board or other interactive whiteboard and hopefully a set of laptop or tablets available as well as access to a computer lab in the school. It's essential for students to be explicitly taught about digital citizenship, which is one of the ISTE standards, and the act of using technology appropriately. Technology is an ever-growing field, and access to more content grows with it. With more content comes more responsibility for students to do the right thing in order to keep them safe, such as protecting personal information. Many aspects to the digital world may seem far-fetched to students, such as their online reputation and digital footprint or copyright laws. It's important for us as educators to make students aware of some of the responsibilities they might not have even known they had. One way that we can do this is by modeling safe and appropriate technology use in the classroom. We may also want to be careful of what websites we promote to our students and teach them the proper way to obtain information. There are also some modules and games available that will show students real situations about how to use technology appropriately. Ultimately, I believe modeling correct use, setting guidelines, monitoring student use, and explicit instruction on what to do and what not to do are the main things we can do to ensure students' appropriate use of technology. Global education places a large value on being respectful and informed about other cultures and diversity. This coincides with the ISTE standard of being a global collaborator. I believe that global education is a very important facet of education, and its promotion of acceptance, collaboration, and connection are vital to expose to young students. Diversity is growing exponentially in every community, and each person comes from a different background, which shapes their thoughts and who they become. So exposing students to a global way of thinking and interacting can be very beneficial to them personally and to their community. There are many times when we don't have physical access to the experience that we want our students to have, and that's where technology comes into play. Technology can connect us to people around the world and bring us places where we can never physically bring an entire class of students. Video conferencing tools such as Skype can be very powerful in the world of global education and you can bring speakers from all around the world to discuss culture and different ways of thinking. Technology can even allow us to bring students on virtual field trips to places they may be learning about, such as the Great Wall of China. Technology even makes it possible for students to have global pen pals via email 
and share viewpoints and gain insight on other cultures. There are also so many databases and ebooks online that can be utilized by students to conduct research about other cultures and assess different groups and communities. I believe that engaging with the families and parents of our students is one of the fundamental keys to their success in our school. There are so many ways that we can use technology to communicate with the parents and to involve them more in our students' classroom. One way that we can engage families more is by sending out periodic newsletters from the school to keep families up to date on any upcoming events that they may want to be present at. Teachers can also personally reach out to their parents of their class with weekly or monthly emails with pictures of the class or updates from classroom events. Another way that we can increase access of homeschool communication is having our teachers offer parent-teacher conferences or other meetings such as welcome meetings or back-to-school nights over Skype or an alternate video conferencing platform. There are many times that families find themselves without transportation to get them to school events or without access to a babysitter. So creating access to the school that is convenient to them is fundamental to our parents' involvement.